guys welcome to another review video for one piece chapter 1070 the most powerful beings and yo let's start off with the cover page i think it was pretty obvious we was going to get a man's flashback especially when uh judge and caesar was kind of fighting each other and you saw the thought bubble so yeah let's have we're going into a man's flashback now wow vega punk was kind of crazy as a young kid so the caesar so this queen looks real different like his design looks crazy and judge looks pretty grumpy as usual is that stussy next to him as well but anyways i'm real excited to see where this cover page goes real exciting stuff obviously we've been on break for a week but we're back now with this chapter very exciting chapter we got a lot of confirmation on things that us the readers have been picking up on over the past few weeks things like uh senior pink's devil fruit and finding out whether he's alive or not obviously he is alive car that would have been way too left field him dying. So yeah, he's an impel down with Dofi and I'm guessing the rest of the Don Quixote family. So yeah, uh, Dr. Vegapunk can recreate Zoe and Devil Fruits, no problemo. He said that he tried it. He said he tried his hand at Logias, but they were trickier than expected. And he's found an alternative for Paramecia types. So basically previous users of Paramecia Devil Fruits, the lineage factor actually, you know, contains the correct DNA strand or something for vegapunk to incorporate that into his seraphim models he said he calls it green blood and it's like there's kind of like a gap in the arm of some of the seraphim and you can kind of see the green blood inside them so that's kind of interesting and of course vegapunk keeps reiterating that with unlimited resources even special types of devil fruits can be recreated and he goes on to call the current seraphim the culmination of his ideas and they're the peak of what current science can accomplish and we get some more of vegapunk hyping up the seraphim like saying they may go down in history as the most powerful beings in the sea and of course this just you know some exposition on the straw hats now saying okay so that's why the warlord system was abolished like because these seraphims are super strong and the navy clearly has confidence in them so again this chapter just confirmed a lot of things that we kind of already knew like i mean we definitely already knew so it's nice just to get shit doubled down on and a uh, really nice fight between luchi and luffy we got some more crazy gear five shit we saw Luffy basically turn into Pac-Man. We saw Luffy basically turn into the Tasmanian Devil. Like the Gear 5 thing, crazy. I do feel like, obviously after the whole fight in the previous chapter, people said, oh, Luffy's too strong, or Luffy should have wiped the floor of him. Oda just wants to show off Gear 5, guys, you know. Luffy wasn't going super serious, like, you know, he's just fighting Luffy. He got a little more somewhat serious, or <laughs> more crazy, I should say, after seeing Sento Maru get, you know, hit through the chest and yeah now that Sento Maru's down the hierarchy of order falls to CP0 so they're looking kind of bossy with the Seraphim behind them now uh, we did know last week that Kizaru was on his way he ain't show up in this chapter yet but I did end off with him saying that yo <laughs> this is where shit gets crazy guys so in my best Kizaru voice oh the straw has have tried to make an escape with Vegapunk oh. <laughs> Yeah, so he basically just says on paper, you know, that sounds like a straightforward escape, but yo, it ain't gonna be that easy. Get as many warships as possible to Egghead, so. <sighs> Ooh, obviously, Oda's comments in Jump Festa recently talking about some big battle royale is gonna happen this year, well, 2023. And damn, is this the beginning of the end? I mean, of course it is, but like, wow. <laughs> it's finally happening, so what's gonna happen is the grand fleet gonna come in and like you know help fend off the navy and allow the straw hats to cut out and go to raftal slash elbaf like very very crazy exciting shit you know i wonder how soon it's actually gonna be before all the warships arrive like is it gonna be real soon or not so soon and also earlier in this chapter the straw hats what luffy or nami and people like that they kind of realize why the government wants to off Vegapunk because he's a liability, you know, he knows so much and he's so helpful to them, but at the same time, the nigga's too smart, he's too good at what he does, so, you know, once they've used him, it's time for him to go, but, Sento Maru entrusted Luffy, and Luffy said he's going to save Vega, so, I'm, I'm kind of confident now that Vega's going to somewhat survive this, I didn't want to see him die too soon or anything, so, yeah, I feel like Luffy's too strong for Luchi, man, come on guys, like, he is... Hopefully we'll see Luchi fight Sanji or Zoro. That could potentially happen. Zoro and Brook still ain't been a part of any of this. So, so that would be nice to see Zoro get to face like a main enemy of Luffy's rather than like, you know, 
Kaku or something but yeah anyways uh also in the chapter notes at the end of this chapter the kanji was shiroi for white but uh, the katakana sound effects is like don and which is scattered throughout one piece for like you know dramatic effect and also saying it could be read as like the dawn or some shit so i mean nothing to take too seriously it's older you know i'm sure there's like tons of easter eggs like this throughout one piece i mean i know some youtubers highlight you know the, all the hidden meanings and like the chapter numbers and shit so yeah i'm guessing just the way japanese is how you can write one thing and it means like three five different things or they're just playing around with us a little bit little, little easter egg for the people then talk about the dawn and shit mm. we're so close guys we're so close anyways this was a very exciting chapter of one piece especially the end uh very nice seeing the fight between luffy and luchi and just seeing seeing luffy whoop his ass man fuck this luchi guy but um yeah guys that's been it from me i hope you guys have a beautiful christmas i've been the girl weeaboo please like subscribe and share for more content like this i'll see you guys soon peace